Do you know about the most exceptional scientists from your country? We're about to reveal the top 100 scientists of all time. Let's discover how many of them hail from your country. Each one of these scientists has a special story of discovering new things and making the world a better place. Their stories are full of curiosity, discovery, and making history. Please feel free to utilize chapter section of this video, if you are keen on learning about the top scientists from your respective country only. This video contains scientists from number 14 to 45. Please refer to part 1 on our channel to explore scientists numbered 1 to 13 from countries beginning with the letters A to F. Scientist number 14 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From France, we have selected 14 exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Blaise Pascal. Blaise Pascal, recognized as a prodigious talent from a young age, displayed an exceptional aptitude for mathematics. His early acclaim came with the proposition and subsequent proof of Pascal's theorem while still a teenager. Notably, he demonstrated a remarkable grasp of mathematical algorithms, leading to the creation of mechanical calculators before he reached the age of 20. Though Wilhelm Schickard had pioneered prototypes in Germany before Pascal's time, Pascal's designs surpassed them in efficiency and usability. Unaware of Schickard's efforts, Pascal refined his gadgets, establishing himself as a pivotal figure in the development of early calculators and laying the groundwork for future advancements in computing technology. Beyond his contributions to mathematics and engineering, Pascal's intellectual pursuits extended into science, religion, and philosophy. He engaged in spirited exchanges with luminaries of his time, including correspondence with Pierre de Fermat on subjects like probability theory and geometric transformations. Despite the admiration of peers like Fermat, Pascal faced envy, notably from René Descartes, whose remarks did little to diminish Pascal's influence. Pascal's interdisciplinary prowess extended to fields such as hydrodynamics, resulting in inventions like the hydraulic press and syringe, both of which remain integral tools today. His influential treatises, including De l'esprit géométrique, Essai pour les coniques, and Traité du triangle arithmétique, not only advanced his own reputation but also nurtured the careers of others, notably Christian Huygens. Even beyond his lifetime, Pascal's legacy endured. His works provided foundational knowledge for future luminaries such as Paul Dirac, who would build upon Pascal's projective geometry to develop the principles of quantum mechanics, earning widespread acclaim. In the pursuit of scientific knowledge, Pascal's writings continued to inspire generations. Notably, when Gottfried Leibniz sought guidance in his early scientific endeavors, his tutor Christian Huygens, who held Pascal in high esteem, recommended Pascal's publications as essential reading. Scientist number 15 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from France on our list is Charles Augustin de Coulomb. Charles Augustin de Coulomb initially pursued civil engineering roles before transitioning to experimental physics. Following an eight-year stint in Martinique, he returned to France and delved into research, initially exploring mechanics and later shifting his focus to electricity. His detailed treatises, including the statistical problems applied to architecture, and the theory of simple machines, garnered recognition from the Paris Academy of Sciences, earning him its prestigious grand prize. Coulomb's groundbreaking invention of the torsion balance in 1777 led to the publication of another highly regarded monograph, The Elasticity of Wires Under Twisting Stress. His mathematical prowess, honed under the guidance of tutors during his youth, enabled him to apply calculus to tackle complex problems, impressing members of the academy. Dedicating five years to the study of electricity, electrostatics, and magnetism, Coulomb published seven treatises that culminated in the formulation of his renowned law, termed the Coulomb's inverse square law in 1785. This law played a pivotal role in the development of the theory of electromagnetism, paralleling Newton's law of universal gravitation and contributing to the derivation of Gauss flux theorem. Coulomb's contributions extended beyond scientific principles, he is commemorated through various namesakes, including the SI unit of electric charge, the 30,826 Coulomb asteroid, the Coulomb lunar crater, the Coulomb Sartan pre-Nectarian lunar basin, the Coulomb wave function, and the Coulomb logarithm. Additionally, his name is among the 72 French luminaries honored on the Eiffel Tower. Scientist number 16 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. 
The third luminary from France on our list is Antoine Lavoisier. Antoine Lavoisier, renowned as one of the most influential experimental chemists prior to Michael Faraday, led a remarkably prolific career. Despite being trained as a lawyer, he rarely practiced law, instead devoting himself to the realms of chemistry, botany, logic, and mathematics. Influenced greatly by his mathematics tutor, Nicolas Louis de Lacaille, who was both an abbot and astronomy enthusiast, Lavoisier developed a lifelong passion for meteorology. However, it was the captivating allure of chemistry that truly captured his imagination, as he delighted in showcasing vibrant and illuminating experiments to his peers. While Lavoisier lacked extensive expertise in chemistry, he relied on the insights and collaborations with contemporaries such as Joseph Priestley and Henry Cavendish to refine his understanding of the subject. Communicating with other French professionals also aided him in augmenting the limited knowledge he gained from his private studies. His adeptness at managing multiple correspondences allowed him to foster rewarding collaborations effectively. Unlike Priestley and Cavendish, Lavoisier's aristocratic background endowed him with the financial means to conduct elaborate experiments repeatedly. This enabled him to gain deeper insights and transform vague concepts into well-founded theories. An exemplary instance of this was his joint research with Priestley on oxygen. While Carl Scheele initially discovered the gas and informed Priestley, it was Lavoisier's extensive experimentation with oxygen that provided a comprehensive understanding of its properties, surpassing that of Scheele and Priestley. A similar scenario unfolded after Cavendish's isolation of hydrogen. Transitioning from an enthusiast to an esteemed expert, Lavoisier made significant contributions to chemical nomenclature, stoichiometry, and the metric system. His legacy is immortalized through various honors, including the naming of the 70-kilometer-wide Lavoisier lunar crater, situated between Bunsen, Bay, and Von Braun. Scientist number 17 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fourth luminary from France on our list is Jean-Baptiste Lamarck. Jean-Baptiste Lamarck, born in 1744, was a prominent French biologist whose groundbreaking contributions revolutionized the understanding of evolution. From his early years, Lamarck exhibited a profound fascination with the natural world, laying the foundation for his lifelong dedication to biological research. His extensive studies in botany and zoology provided him with the knowledge and insight necessary to propose his theory of evolution. Lamarck's most notable hypothesis, known as the theory of inheritance of acquired characteristics, suggested that organisms could pass on traits acquired during their lifetime to their offspring, shaping the course of evolution. Despite facing initial skepticism, Lamarck's ideas sparked significant debate and laid the groundwork for future evolutionary theories. In addition to his work on evolution, Lamarck made significant contributions to the field of taxonomy, developing systematic methods for classifying and organizing species. His meticulous observations and classifications helped advance the understanding of biological diversity and paved the way for modern classification systems. Lamarck's influence extended beyond the realm of biology, impacting fields such as philosophy and anthropology. Although some aspects of Lamarck's theory have been revised over time, his contributions to evolutionary thought remain fundamental to our understanding of the natural world. His dedication to scientific inquiry and exploration continues to inspire researchers and scholars across disciplines. Jean-Baptiste Lamarck's legacy as a pioneering biologist and evolutionary thinker endures, leaving an indelible mark on the history of science. Scientist number 18 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fifth luminary from France on our list is Pierre-Simon Laplace. Before delving into Laplace's remarkable contributions, it's worth noting that he passed away on the same day as Alessandro Volta, the inventor of the electric battery. Although this was merely a coincidence, it represented a significant loss for 19th century science. Laplace made extensive contributions to both physics and mathematics, particularly noteworthy are his advancements in probability theory and celestial mechanics. His significant improvements to Isaac Newton's works earned him the moniker, French Newton. In collaboration with Antoine Lavoisier, Pierre-Simon Laplace played a key role in establishing the metric system of measurements. Their cooperation extended to thermochemical research, focusing on combustion and specific heat evaluations. Laplace's pioneering experiments led him to assert that the velocity of sound in air varies with the atmospheric heat capacity ratio, a groundbreaking discovery at the time. Laplace's monumental five-volume work, Mécanique Celeste, 
revolutionized celestial mechanics by employing geometric calculus for enhanced accuracy in problem solving. His meticulous attention to detail allowed him to overcome challenges that even esteemed figures like Leonard Euler and Joseph Louis Lagrange struggled with. For instance, Laplace resolved a perplexing issue regarding Jupiter's apparent orbit shrinkage and Saturn's expansion by considering neglected approximations, leading to precise outcomes. In addition to his profound contributions spanning mathematics, statistics, physics, astronomy, computing, and engineering, Laplace is honored through various dedications, including the 4628 Laplace asteroid and the 2.6-kilometer high promontorium Laplace on the moon's Montes Jura. Scientist number 19 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The sixth luminary from France on our list is Jean-Baptiste Joseph Fourier. Jean-Baptiste Joseph Fourier was a multifaceted scholar who demonstrated excellence across various domains, including physics, mathematics, teaching, and administration. Despite facing early orphanhood, he received support from the Bishop of Auxerre, which facilitated his education. Under the guidance of Joseph Louis Lagrange, Fourier delved into the realms of analysis and algebra, forming friendships with notable figures like Pierre-Simon Laplace and Gaspard Monge. Upon Lagrange's retirement from the position of Professor of Analysis and Mechanics at Paris École Polytechnique in 1797, Fourier succeeded him. However, his academic pursuits were briefly interrupted when he joined Napoleon's expedition to Egypt as a science advisor. Subsequently appointed as the governor of Grenoble, Fourier dedicated himself to thermal research, a pursuit that would bring him widespread acclaim. As a researcher, educator, and administrator, Fourier excelled, particularly in his development of Fourier series, derived from his experiments on heat transfer and simplified using trigonometric functions. His seminal work, Théorie analytique de la chaleur, published in 1822, earned accolades, with William Thomson Kelvin later describing it as a magnificent mathematical composition. To honor his legacy, the Université Joseph Fourier in Grenoble and the 51-kilometer-wide Fourier lunar crater bear his name. Additionally, he is among the esteemed French achievers commemorated on the Eiffel Tower. Scientist number 20 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The seventh luminary from France on our list is André-Marie Ampère. From an early age, André-Marie Ampère displayed a remarkable aptitude for various fields, including mathematics, physics, chemistry, astronomy, and philosophy. Immersed in the works of influential figures like Leonard Euler, Daniel Bernoulli, and Jean La Ronde d'Alembert, he even authored a treatise on mathematical probability during his youth. As a lecturer at the École Polytechnique, Paris, he imparted knowledge to notable students such as Augustin Louis Cauchy and mentored Frederick Ozanam, who later co-founded the St. Vincent de Paul Society. Ampere's journey as a mathematical physicist gained momentum after Hans Christian Ersted discovered electromagnetism. Eager to elucidate this phenomenon further, Ampere conducted experiments that led to groundbreaking findings. He observed that current carrying parallel wires could either attract or repel each other based on the direction of the current flow. Additionally, he formulated mathematical equations to describe the magnetic forces between conductors transmitting electric currents. His seminal contributions to the field include the formulation of two fundamental laws, the force law and the circuital law. The force law elucidated the interaction between current carrying wires, while the circuital law, later mathematically derived by James Clerk Maxwell in 1861, described the relationship between integrated magnetic fields and currents in closed loops. In recognition of his groundbreaking work, the unit of electric current, the Ampere, AMP, was designated in his honor in 1881. Moreover, Ampere's legacy is immortalized among the 72 distinguished French figures whose names adorn the Eiffel Tower, serving as a testament to his enduring impact on science and mathematics. Scientist number 21 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The eighth luminary from France on our list is Joseph Louis Gay Lussac. Joseph Louis Gay Lussac possessed an insatiable curiosity that propelled him to become one of the foremost experimenters of the 19th century. Before assuming a professorship in physics, he conducted extensive research in chemistry, laying the groundwork for his illustrious career. For 24 years, he held the prestigious physics chair at Sorbonne, before transitioning to a chemistry position at the Jardin des Plantes in Paris. Gases held a particular fascination for Gay Lussac reminiscent of his esteemed compatriot Antoine Lavoisier. Using hydrogen-filled balloons, 
he ascended several kilometers above sea level to collect fresh air samples for analysis. Through meticulous experimentation, he made a groundbreaking discovery. When gases react at constant temperature and pressure, they combine in volumes that follow simple ratios, known as Gay-Lussac's law of combining volumes. This law provided crucial clues that inspired Amadeo Avogadro to formulate his revolutionary hypothesis. Beyond his work with gases, Gay-Lussac made significant contributions to chemistry. He co-discovered boron alongside Louis Jacques Tenard and Humphrey Davy. Collaborating with Alexander von Humboldt, he determined the elemental composition of water, revealing its ratio of two parts hydrogen to one part oxygen by volume. Gay-Lussac also introduced terminology to the field, coining the terms barrette and pipette while refining their designs. Additionally, his quantitative analyses of alcohols led France and Britain to adopt degrees Gay-Lussac as the standard measurement for ethanol percentage by volume. In honor of his achievements, the 26-kilometer-wide Gay-Lussac lunar crater stands as a testament to his lasting legacy in the field of science. Scientist number 22 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The ninth luminary from France on our list is Simeon Denis Poisson. Simeon Denis Poisson was an extraordinary mathematical physicist whose contributions continue to stand as a testament to his genius. At the age of 17, he distinguished himself by securing admission to the highly competitive École Polytechnique Paris as the top qualifier, impressing esteemed professors such as Joseph Louis Lagrange and Pierre Simon Laplace with his remarkable abilities. Recognizing his exceptional talent, Poisson was granted the freedom to pursue his own areas of interest, resulting in the publication of two groundbreaking treatises in 1800. Upon graduating, Poisson was appointed as deputy lecturer at the École Polytechnique, where he passionately embraced his belief that life is good for two things, doing mathematics and teaching mathematics. His dedication and brilliance propelled him to attain full professorship within a remarkably brief span of six years. Poisson's illustrious career saw him succeed Joseph Fourier and Laplace, while concurrently serving in various influential roles on numerous boards, thanks to the continued support of Lagrange and Laplace. Despite being ranked mathematically below only Carl Friedrich Gauss and Augustin Louis Cauchy at the pinnacle of his career, Poisson was revered as an unparalleled educator, surpassing even his esteemed contemporaries in teaching prowess. For several years, he served as the math pedagogical supervisor for all of France, leaving an indelible mark on mathematical education. As a prolific researcher, Poisson's contributions spanned a wide array of topics in physics and mathematics, with over 400 treatises attributed to him. His influence extended to a cadre of renowned students, including Peter Dirichlet, Joseph Liouville, Michel Cazals, and Nicolas Carnot. To honor his enduring legacy, the 42-kilometer-wide Poisson lunar crater serves as a fitting tribute to his remarkable achievements. Additionally, Poisson's name is among the esteemed honorees immortalized on the Eiffel Tower, a testament to his enduring impact on the world of science and mathematics. Scientist number 23 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The tenth luminary from France on our list is Augustin Louis Cauchy. Augustin Louis Cauchy stands as the epitome of French mathematicians, inheriting his exceptional intellect from his father, Louis Francois Cauchy, who also distinguished himself by winning France's Concours General competition. From a young age, Augustin Louis displayed unparalleled aptitude in all his academic pursuits, earning admiration from leading mathematicians of his time, including Joseph Louis Lagrange and Pierre Simon Laplace. Despite his responsibilities in civil engineering, Cauchy remained dedicated to his mathematical pursuits, pioneering advancements in continuum mechanics, complex analysis, permutation group theory, and elasticity theory, while also building upon the work of his predecessors. Proficient in every branch of mathematics, he made significant contributions across a spectrum of fields and published prolifically, with many of his insights proving invaluable to the field of physics and engineering. Cauchy's prodigious abilities and prolific output left a lasting impression on his contemporaries, overshadowing even the renowned Carl Friedrich Gauss, who was widely regarded as the prince of mathematics. Revered for his intellect and immortalized through his masterful works, Cauchy became synonymous with rigorous proofs, becoming the first to establish many theorems, including the notoriously complex Fermat's polygonal number theorem, which had remained unproven for 175 years. Throughout history, only Leonard Euler surpassed Cauchy in terms of the number of individual disquisitions produced, a testament to his extraordinary productivity. 
Despite facing criticism and even accusations of madness, Cauchy's dedication to rigorous mathematics earned him praise from notable figures such as Niels Henrik Abel, who acknowledged him as the foremost authority on mathematical methodology. Judith Grabiner lauded him for his role in institutionalizing rigorous mathematical standards, while Hans Freudenthal highlighted Cauchy's unparalleled influence, with more mathematical concepts and theorems bearing his name than any other mathematician in history. Scientist number 24 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 11th luminary from France on our list is Claude Bernard. Claude Bernard, an audacious physiologist, revolutionized scientific inquiry by pioneering the use of blind experiments and making groundbreaking discoveries in gastroenterology, neurology, and homeostasis. However, his path to success was fraught with challenges. After the loss of his father, Bernard struggled to find his place, attempting various pursuits including unsuccessful ventures in playwriting before turning to medicine. Under the mentorship of physiologist Francois Magendi, Bernard honed his skills in vivisection and embarked on neurological research. Through independent studies on rabbits, he made significant discoveries regarding the functions of the pancreas and liver in digestion and glucose metabolism, shedding new light on conditions such as diabetes mellitus. Bernard also introduced the concept of physiological constancy, emphasizing the equilibrium maintained by interdependent elements within the body, a principle he termed the milieu interior. A staunch advocate for experimental investigation, Bernard famously referred to laboratories as the temples of science. His numerous publications focused on practical applications, advancing cellular physiology and building upon the work of renowned theorists such as Rudolf Virchow and Camillo Golgi. Emphasizing scientific determinism, Bernard standardized blind experiments to ensure reproducibility and eliminate disputed fallacies. In recognition of his immense contributions, Claude Bernard was honored with a state funeral in France, the first scientist to receive such an accolade. His legacy continues to be celebrated through various posthumous honors, cementing his status as a pioneering figure in the field of physiology and scientific inquiry. Scientist number 25 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 12th luminary from France on our list is Louis Pasteur. Louis Pasteur, despite lacking a medical license or formal training in medicine, left an indelible mark on the field of medicine through revolutionary advancements that surpassed all expectations. His groundbreaking sterilization method, known as pasteurization, transformed the landscape of public health by significantly reducing infections at a time when antibiotics were yet unknown. This technique not only saved countless lives but also extended the shelf life of perishable foods, such as milk and beverages, preventing widespread spoilage. While Pasteur's most notable contributions lie in microbiology and medicine, he was originally trained as a chemist and held professorial positions at both Strasbourg and Lille universities in France. His pioneering work on molecular asymmetry elucidated the optical and crystallographic properties of various organic salts, advancing the understanding of chemical structures. Despite occasional criticism from clinicians who were bewildered by his unconventional approach, Pasteur collaborated with medical professionals to ensure that his experiments adhered to established norms and standards. Undeterred by challenges, he ventured into the realms of microbiology, developing vaccines for rabies and anthrax that revolutionized disease prevention. Pasteur's versatility was evident in his seamless navigation between physical and biological sciences, although his clinical achievements often overshadowed his significant contributions to chemistry, physics, and geology. Few realized that he was the first to accurately explain isomerism and molecular chirality, underscoring his multifaceted expertise. In addition to his prolific scientific publications and numerous accolades, Pasteur mentored countless students during his tenure as the Director of Scientific Studies at the École Normale Supérieure in Paris. His enduring legacy is commemorated through various scientific concepts and honors, including the naming of a Martian crater, a lunar crater, and an asteroid in his honor. Scientist number 26 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 13th luminary from France on our list is Henri Becquerel. Henri Becquerel, an engineer by profession, stumbled upon the discovery of radioactivity by chance, but his keen intellect and prepared mind swiftly recognized the significance of his findings. His prior research on the plane polarizations of light had sparked an enduring interest in investigations into phosphorescence, laying the groundwork for his serendipitous discovery. Following Wilhelm Röntgen's confirmation of X-rays in 1896, Becquerel speculated whether uranium salts, 
known for their phosphorescent properties, emitted similar radiation. His subsequent experiments with uranium salts led to the unexpected revelation of their powerful radioactive properties, marking the beginning of his groundbreaking work in the field of radioactivity. Collaborating with Pierre and Marie Curie on further radioactive research, Becquerel shared in the prestigious 1903 Nobel Prize in Physics, solidifying his place in scientific history. Remarkably, Becquerel was part of a rare scientific dynasty, mirroring the renowned Curies, with multiple generations making significant contributions to the field of physics. Becquerel's lineage boasted accomplished researchers, including his grandfather Antoine Becquerel and father Alexander Becquerel, both of whom made substantial contributions to physics. Even his son, Jean Becquerel, left a lasting impact with his groundbreaking research on the optico-magnetic properties of crystals. Tragically, Henri Becquerel's untimely death in 1908, followed closely by Pierre Curie's demise in 1906, cut short their potential for even greater achievements, leaving Marie Curie to continue their pioneering work in the realm of radioactive research. Becquerel's legacy lives on through his designation as the SI unit for radioactivity, a fitting tribute to his profound contributions to science. Scientist number 27 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 14th luminary from France on our list is Jules Henri Poincaré. Henri Poincaré, renowned for his intuition and creativity, rightfully earns his place as one of the last universal mathematicians. Even as a child, his extraordinary aptitude for mathematics earned him the nickname, the Math Monster, from his schoolteacher. His early triumph in winning the Concours General Competition in France foreshadowed his future impact on the mathematical world. Poincaré's contributions spanned across every branch of mathematics, with particular emphasis on his groundbreaking work in homology and algebraic topology, which garnered widespread acclaim. Delving into theoretical physics, he played a pivotal role in refining fundamental concepts and laying the groundwork for new theories. His establishment of chaos theory and advancements in differential equations solidified his reputation as a visionary thinker. One of Poincaré's most enduring legacies is his formulation of the Poincaré conjecture in 1904, a problem that remained unsolved until Grigory Perelman's breakthrough proof in 2002, earning Perelman the prestigious Fields Medal and the recognition of the mathematical community. Drawing inspiration from Bernhard Riemann's seminal works, Poincaré anticipated the concept of Minkowski space, providing geometric support for Albert Einstein's groundbreaking theory of relativity. He played a pivotal role in elucidating the mass-energy equivalence principle of special relativity, contributing to the theory's early acceptance and widespread recognition. Despite his occasional absent-mindedness, Poincaré remained remarkably innovative and productive, excelling in all branches of mathematics and leaving an indelible mark on the field. His contributions continue to shape various areas of science, with numerous concepts and phenomena bearing his name in recognition of his immense influence. The Poincaré Lunar Crater, the Poincaré Asteroid, and countless scientific concepts stand as enduring tributes to his enduring legacy and unparalleled contributions to the world of mathematics and science. Scientist number 28 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Germany, we have selected 16 exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Johannes Kepler. During the Renaissance era, Johannes Kepler made groundbreaking contributions across various fields including astronomy, mechanics, waves, optics, and mathematical analysis. His profound insights into planetary dynamics using complex mathematics remain highly esteemed today. Similar to his admiration for Nicolaus Copernicus, Kepler's forward-thinking approach placed him ahead of his contemporaries. Notably, he was the first to propose the concept of planets orbiting the Sun in elliptical orbits, dispelling long-held misconceptions dating back to ancient Greece. Kepler also provided the first accurate explanation of tidal wave mechanisms, showcasing his breadth of knowledge and innovative thinking. Despite his pioneering work, Figures like Galileo Galilei and René Descartes initially overlooked his ideas, highlighting the ahead-of-his-time nature of his theories. Tycho Brahe, recognizing Kepler's potential, foresaw his future significance in the field of astronomy. Kepler's profound impact extended beyond his lifetime, influencing notable figures such as Isaac Newton, who found inspiration in Kepler's laws of planetary motion. Newton's subsequent research led to the development of his laws of motion and universal gravitation, Kepler's legacy is commemorated through various astronomical landmarks such as asteroids, moon craters, and spacecraft, 
as well as in fields like geometry, mechanics, optics, and computing. Even in numerical analysis, Kepler's contributions endure, as evidenced by the formula known as Kepler's Schwarzregel in German, which Anglophones recognize as Simpson's rule. This demonstrates Kepler's lasting influence and enduring significance in the annals of scientific history. Scientist number 29 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from Germany on our list is Gottfried von Leibniz. Leibniz stands as a towering figure in the realms of arts and sciences, showcasing unparalleled genius across various disciplines. Renowned for his exceptional mathematical prowess, he revolutionized the cumbersome binary system, introducing analytical terms like parameters, functions, variables, and coordinates that are integral to modern mathematics. His expertise was sought by notable figures such as Russia's Tsar, Peter the Great, who enlisted his help in establishing the St. Petersburg Science Academy. In the 17th century, Leibniz's visionary contemplation proposed the existence of a molten core within the Earth, marking a significant milestone in the development of modern geology. He delved into mathematical physics and made significant contributions to symbolic logic, laying the groundwork for future advancements in computing. Among his creations was the pinwheel calculator, demonstrating his innovative spirit and commitment to practical problem solving. Leibniz's foresight extended to fields such as topology, which he anticipated under the concept of geometria situs, predating the work of Leonard Euler. Furthermore, his formulation of the principle of least action preceded similar theories by Euler and Pierre-Louis Maupichus by four decades, highlighting his pioneering intellect. Notably, Leibniz independently discovered infinitesimal calculus, contributing extensive writings on the subject that surpassed even Isaac Newton's contributions. His integral comb differential notations are favored today for their simplicity, intuitiveness, and effectiveness, surpassing those of Newton. Remarkably, Leibniz pursued science as a hobby alongside his career as a jurist, drawing inspiration from luminaries like Christian Huygens and Blaise Pascal, whose works he extensively studied. His unparalleled abilities and versatility have earned him recognition as one of the most brilliant minds in history. In tribute to his enduring legacy, the prestigious Leibniz Prize was established in 1985, honoring his profound contributions to science and innovation. This esteemed award serves as a testament to Leibniz's lasting impact on the world of scholarship and intellectual inquiry. Scientist number 30 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The third luminary from Germany on our list is Carl Friedrich Gauss. In the realm of mathematics, one name reigns supreme, Carl Friedrich Gauss, often hailed as the Princeps Mathematicorum, or the Prince of Mathematicians. From his early years, Gauss exhibited an extraordinary aptitude for unraveling mathematical mysteries that baffled even the most seasoned scholars of his time. Gauss's contributions to mathematics were nothing short of revolutionary. With unparalleled insight and ingenuity, he delved into the deepest realms of mathematical theory, crafting elegant solutions to complex problems and proving theorems that had long eluded his contemporaries. One of Gauss's most notable works is his seminal text, the Disquisitiones Arithmeticae, regarded as a magnum opus of 19th century mathematics. However, despite his groundbreaking achievements, Gauss's perfectionistic tendencies often hindered him from sharing his ideas with the world. He held himself to the highest standards, refusing to publish anything less than flawless work. This perfectionism extended beyond his own endeavors, as Gauss discouraged his own children from pursuing mathematics, fearing they might not meet the lofty standards he had set. Despite his reluctance to publish many of his ideas, Gauss's impact on the field of mathematics was profound and far-reaching. However, Gauss was not without his critics. Some questioned his claims of priority over the discoveries of his contemporaries, while others speculated that his reluctance to publish more prolifically stemmed from a fear of falling short of the legacy of his predecessors, such as the renowned mathematician Leonard Euler. Nevertheless, Gauss's mathematical prowess remains undisputed, a testament to his unparalleled intellect and dedication to the pursuit of mathematical truth. His legacy continues to inspire generations of mathematicians, ensuring that the name of Carl Friedrich Gauss will forever be synonymous with excellence in the field of mathematics. Scientist number 31 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fourth luminary from Germany on our list is Georg Simon Ohm. Georg Simon Ohm, a notable mathematician, gained recognition through his insightful investigations into acoustics and electricity. 
Influenced by the works of prominent mathematicians such as Leonard Euler, Sylvestre Lacroix, and Pierre-Simon Laplace, he honed his skills and knowledge, particularly under the mentorship of Peter Dirichlet. Interestingly, his brother Martin Ohm also made significant contributions to mathematics, notably developing the complete theory of the exponential AB for complex numbers in 1823. Ohm's fascination with electricity was sparked at a young age, coinciding with the invention of electric batteries by Alessandro Volta when he was just 10 years old. He embarked on a series of experiments, modifying existing apparatus and devising new ones to satisfy his curiosity. Through these endeavors, he made a groundbreaking discovery, the relationship between electric current, voltage, and resistance in a conductor. Ohm found that the current passing through a conductor is directly proportional to the voltage applied across it and inversely proportional to the conductor's resistance. This fundamental principle became known as Ohm's law, and the unit of electrical resistance, the Ohm, was named in his honor. He documented his findings in his seminal work, The Galvanic Circuit Analyzed Mathematically, published in 1827. Beyond his exploration of electricity, Ohm made notable contributions to various fields. His works extended to molecular physics and analytic geometry, particularly concerning the skew coordinate system. His comprehensive understanding and innovative approach earned him commendation and recognition within the scientific community. Today, Georg Simon Ohm is immortalized as the namesake of the Ohm lunar crater, a testament to his enduring legacy and impact on the fields of mathematics and science. Scientist number 32 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fifth luminary from Germany on our list is Hermann von Helmholtz. Hermann von Helmholtz distinguished himself as a profound and versatile scientist, leaving an indelible mark across multiple disciplines. While his initial pursuit led him to qualify as a medical doctor to fulfill his father's aspirations, his innate prowess in the physical sciences propelled him to publish groundbreaking works in physics and mathematics even as an undergraduate student. Spanning mechanics, magnetism, acoustics, heat, and waves, Helmholtz's curiosity and expertise knew no bounds within the realm of physics. Moreover, his investigations extended into anatomy, physiology, ophthalmology, neurology, and optics, earning him widespread acclaim for his contributions in each field. Not content with these achievements, he ventured into astronomy, meteorology, geography, psychology, and philosophy, demonstrating a relentless thirst for exploration and understanding. Throughout the latter half of the 19th century, Helmholtz served as a revered professor in various academic institutions, where he not only produced a prolific body of work but also nurtured the talents of numerous students, including luminaries such as Max Planck, Heinrich Hertz, Albert Michelson, Arthur Webster, and Wilhelm Wien. His formidable reputation attracted collaborations with researchers from both academic and industrial spheres, resulting in numerous accolades and prizes in recognition of his contributions. In tribute to his seminal work, a multitude of concepts bear his name, including Helmholtz's theorems, Helmholtz equation, Helmholtz reciprocity, Helmholtz resonance, Helmholtz machine, and Helmholtz coil. Furthermore, his legacy is immortalized through celestial features such as the 11,573 Helmholtz asteroid, the 112-kilometer-wide Helmholtz Martian crater, and the 110-kilometer-wide Helmholtz lunar crater, serving as enduring reminders of his profound impact on science and exploration. Scientist number 33 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The sixth luminary from Germany on our list is Georg Bernhard Riemann, Despite facing persistent health issues and living only 39 years, Georg Bernhard Riemann stands out as the preeminent European mathematician of the 19th century, renowned for both his brilliance and productivity. Mentored by esteemed professors such as Carl Gauss, Gustav Jacobi, and others, Riemann displayed unparalleled ingenuity across various fields of mathematics. His contributions to number theory and complex analysis were groundbreaking, impressing even his mentor Gauss. Riemann's pioneering work in differential geometry reshaped the field, while his expansion of non-Euclidean geometry pushed boundaries far beyond his contemporaries' understanding. His concepts, notably in elliptic geometry, were so influential that they became synonymous with his name. Riemann's insights laid the foundation for general relativity, anticipating ideas later explored by Henri Poincaré and Hermann Minkowski, and eventually elucidated by Albert Einstein. Remarkably versatile, Riemann also made significant contributions to topology, astronomy, and mathematical physics. 
His famous Riemann hypothesis remains one of the most significant unsolved problems in mathematics, a testament to his enduring legacy. Honored posthumously, landmarks such as the Riemann Lunar Crater and the Riemann Minor Planet stand as tributes to his memory, immortalizing his immense contributions to the world of mathematics. Scientist number 34 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The seventh luminary from Germany on our list is Robert Koch. Koch's contributions to the field of medicine marked a significant shift from Galen's long-standing miasma theory to the more precise germ theory of diseases. In the 19th century, he formulated what are now recognized as Koch's postulates, revolutionizing the understanding of infectious diseases. Through meticulous experimentation, Koch revealed the prevalence of pathogenic microbes in individuals suffering from infectious diseases. He demonstrated their capacity to be isolated from their hosts and cultivated into pure laboratory cultures capable of inducing similar illnesses in healthy individuals. Furthermore, he illustrated that subsequent isolates from newly infected patients mirrored the pathogens found in the initial hosts. Koch's pioneering research extended to the identification of specific pathogens, including conclusively proving the pathogenicity of Bacillus anthracis and discovering Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Although Vibrio cholerae had been previously isolated by Filippo Pacini, it was Koch's rediscovery, decades later, that brought renewed attention to the bacterium. Transitioning to the study of protozoa, Koch investigated Plasmodium falciparum and Entamoeba histolytica, further expanding the understanding of infectious diseases. Throughout his career, Koch remained dedicated to research, influenced by the early guidance of Jakob Hennel, an anatomy professor who emphasized evidence-based medicine. Koch's work not only advanced laboratory techniques but also significantly contributed to improving public health practices and stimulating further research in infectious diseases. His groundbreaking achievements have been honored with prestigious awards, including the Robert Koch Gold Medal for Exceptional Contributions to Biomedical Science and the Robert Koch Prize, recognizing significant biomedical discoveries. Scientist number 35 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The eighth luminary from Germany on our list is Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen. In 1895, Wilhelm Röntgen unveiled the enigmatic properties of X-rays, a component of electromagnetic radiation anticipated by James Clerk Maxwell and verified by Heinrich Hertz. A physicist and engineer by trade, Röntgen stumbled upon X-rays while investigating high-frequency, low-wavelength electromagnetic radiation. Initially confounded by his discovery, Röntgen temporarily designated it as X, a conventional placeholder for unknown entities in mathematics. His formative education under the guidance of August Kant and Rudolf Clausius left an indelible imprint on his approach to scientific inquiry. From Kant, Röntgen imbibed the practice of constructing his laboratory apparatuses, a skill pivotal to his future endeavors. Prior to his foray into radiation research, Röntgen's scholarly pursuits encompassed diverse realms, ranging from exploring the specific heats of gases to delving into the thermal conductivity of crystals and the electrochemical properties of quartz. Additionally, he probed the effects of pressure on the refractive indices of fluids, the modification of planes of electromagnetically polarized light, and the variations in the functions of temperature and the compressibility of fluids. His comprehensive treatises significantly propelled advancements in various scientific disciplines. Röntgen's decision not to patent his revolutionary X-ray discovery, acknowledging its immense medical implications, garnered universal acclaim. His groundbreaking achievement culminated in the awarding of the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1901, marking him as the inaugural recipient of this prestigious honor. In a further testament to his legacy, the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry IUPAC, paid homage to him by christening a synthetic element, Rentgenium, in 2004. Moreover, Rentgen's enduring influence is commemorated by the eponymous Rentgen Lunar Crater, a colossal landmark honoring his monumental contributions alongside other illustrious scientists. Scientist number 36 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The ninth luminary from Germany on our list is Paul Ehrlich. Paul Ehrlich, born a day before Emil von Behring, the esteemed clinician who received the inaugural Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1901 for his development of diphtheria antiserum, was also notably older than Albert Einstein by a quarter of a century. Like Einstein, Ehrlich emerged as one of the preeminent scientists of his era, with contributions to science that arguably have a more direct impact on daily life than those of Einstein. Influenced by the pioneering work of Robert Koch, 
Ehrlich made groundbreaking advancements in immunology and chemotherapy. He was the first to provide an accurate description of the mechanism behind antibody formation, establishing crucial criteria for therapeutic sera. Additionally, Ehrlich pioneered innovative chemotherapies, earning the moniker of the magic bullet for his targeted approach to treatment. His research in the late 19th century paved the way for unprecedented breakthroughs in the 20th century, significantly extending lifespan and enhancing quality of life. Diseases such as diphtheria and syphilis, once feared for their devastating mortality rates, were brought under control through Ehrlich's discoveries. In 1907, in Ehrlich's laboratory, Albert Bertheim synthesized arspenamin, also known as salversan, a milestone in the treatment of syphilis. Two years later, Sahachiro Hada demonstrated its efficacy against Treponema pallidum, the causative agent of syphilis. These achievements underscore Ehrlich's profound impact on the field of medicine. While Ehrlich made numerous other invaluable contributions to medicine, his unparalleled efforts in combating pathogens through immunology and chemotherapy remain unmatched. The Ehrlich lunar crater, spanning 30 kilometers, stands as a tribute to his legacy alongside several other memorials commemorating his enduring influence. Scientist number 37 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 10th luminary from Germany on our list is Heinrich Hertz. Heinrich Hertz embarked on his scientific journey initially exploring meteorology before transitioning his focus to particle physics. In 1865, James Clerk Maxwell proposed the existence of various electromagnetic radiations, yet it remained unproven until Hertz's pioneering work two decades later. Under the guidance of Professor Hermann von Helmholtz, who oversaw his doctoral thesis, Hertz delved into Maxwell's equations in 1879. However, due to the lack of adequate equipment at the time, he temporarily abandoned his efforts to prove the theory. Seven years later, while serving as a professor at Karlsruhe, Hertz constructed the necessary apparatus and successfully identified electromagnetic radiations, confirming their existence and establishing himself as their discoverer. This groundbreaking discovery not only resolved years of speculation but also marked a significant milestone in the fields of electrodynamics and particle physics. Building upon his early successes, Hertz contributed to contact mechanics with his seminal work in 1882, titled, Über die Berührung Fester Elastischer Körper, which provided valuable insights into the subject. He furthered his research in continuum mechanics, expanding upon the pioneering work of Augustin Louis Cauchy. Additionally, Hertz explored diverse areas of physics, including cathode rays, the photoelectric effect, predating Albert Einstein's work, and the development of what is now known as Hertz's principle of least curvature. Despite his multifaceted contributions to science, Hertz's most notable achievement remains his discovery of electromagnetic radiations. In recognition of his profound impact, the term, Hertz, was designated as the SI unit of wave frequency in 1930. The 90 kilometer wide Hertz lunar crater stands as a lasting tribute to his enduring legacy alongside several other honors commemorating his significant contributions to science. Scientist number 38 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 11th luminary from Germany on our list is Max Planck. Max Planck stands out as one of the most intellectually adept scientists of his time. His formulation of quantum theory not only revolutionized scientific thought but also opened up entirely new avenues for understanding the atomic and subatomic realms. The complexity of his theory was such that even luminaries of his era struggled to grasp its underlying concepts. Albert Einstein himself, despite his brilliance, initially rejected certain aspects of quantum theory and ultimately yielded in a debate to Niels Bohr in December 1925. Even in the 21st century, more than a century after Planck introduced his theory, the full extent of quantum physics remains elusive to scientists. Esteemed researchers like Max Born, Erwin Schrödinger, and Werner Heisenberg have garnered fame and Nobel Prizes by merely advancing small facets of Planck's groundbreaking work. Planck's contributions extended beyond quantum theory. He significantly advanced our understanding of how objects absorb and emit radiation. His endorsement and contributions to Albert Einstein's relativity theory played a crucial role in its acceptance, both in Germany and worldwide. In addition to his work in quantum physics and relativity, Planck made significant contributions to optics, entropy, thermodynamics, and statistical mechanics. He was also a proponent of women's higher education, mentoring notable students like Lies Meitner. Planck's legacy is honored through various accolades and tributes, including Planck's constant, 
Planck units, and the Max Planck medal. Furthermore, his name graces the Planckia asteroid and the Planck lunar crater, serving as enduring reminders of his profound impact on the scientific community. Scientist number 39 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 12th luminary from Germany on our list is David Hilbert. Renowned for his groundbreaking contributions, David Hilbert stands shoulder to shoulder with esteemed mathematicians such as Srinivasa Ramanujan and Henri Poincaré, ranking among the greatest minds of the 20th century. His seminal work, including the development of the Hilbert space, has left an indelible mark on various fields, including functional analysis, invariant theory, proof theory, logic, and theoretical physics. Few have matched his sphere of influence and intellectual prowess. As a dedicated educator, Hilbert mentored a host of distinguished students, including Hermann Weyl, John von Neumann, credited with coining the term Hilbert Space, and Emanuel Lasker, the world chess champion from 1894 to 1921. He also provided invaluable support and encouragement to prominent figures like Emmy Noether and Georg Cantor, particularly during contentious times such as the opposition to Cantor's set theory. During the tumultuous period of the 1930s, Hilbert valiantly sought to aid Jewish academics persecuted by the Nazis. Despite his inability to dissuade the regime's actions, he offered assistance by providing glowing references and recommendations, enabling many to secure employment abroad. Collaborating with Albert Einstein, Hilbert co-developed the Einstein-Hilbert action, a pivotal precursor to the Einstein field equations in general relativity. Furthermore, his contributions to algebra have found applications in diverse fields, including physics and computer science. Additionally, his geometrical axioms have supplanted Euclidean inventions that had endured for over two millennia. Hilbert's enduring legacy is celebrated through various honors, including the dedication of the 173-kilometer-wide Hilbert Lunar Crater. His name lives on through countless concepts and conjectures, a testament to his enduring influence and profound impact on the field of mathematics. Scientist number 40 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 13th luminary from Germany on our list is Walther Hermann Nernst. Walther Nernst, akin to the inventive spirit of James Watt, epitomized the essence of a researcher who tirelessly sought practical applications for the concepts he explored. His versatile intellect spanned various domains of mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Although he was primarily recognized as a chemist, having been awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1920. Interestingly, his academic background lay in physics and mathematics, having been influenced by esteemed professors such as Friedrich Kohlrausch and Ludwig Boltzmann. Nernst's groundbreaking achievement, for which he was awarded the Nobel Prize, was his formulation of what would become known as the Nernst Heat Theorem, a fundamental contribution that played a pivotal role in shaping the development of the third law of thermodynamics. In addition to his theoretical contributions, Nernst conducted experiments across diverse fields including adiabatic and solid-state physics, photochemistry, electrochemistry, and spectroscopy, resulting in a plethora of influential publications and the mentorship of numerous students. His intellectual curiosity traversed the entire spectrum of physical sciences, attracting collaborative ventures that showcased his brilliance. Notably, his collaboration with Bechstein and Siemens led to his pioneering work in designing and developing the first electronic piano at the Physics Institute of Humboldt University Berlin in the 1930s, utilizing vacuum tube amplifiers instead of conventional sounding boards. Nernst's close friendships with luminaries such as Albert Einstein and Max Planck underscored his stature within the scientific community. In fact, it was Nernst and Planck who organized the inaugural Solvay Conference in 1911, a seminal gathering chaired by Hendrik Lorentz in Brussels, Belgium. Although he passed away before his colleagues Max Planck, Max von Laue, and Otto Hahn, they were subsequently laid to rest near him in Gatingen, a testament to their enduring camaraderie and shared contributions to science. Among the tributes to his legacy are the 24,748 Nernst asteroid and the 116-kilometer-wide Nernst lunar crater, immortalizing his significant impact on the scientific landscape. Scientist number 41 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 14th luminary from Germany on our list is Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein, hailed as the most influential scientist of the 20th century, possessed a brilliant and insightful mind that reshaped our understanding of the universe. From 1905 to 1925, he navigated abstract concepts with unparalleled finesse, fundamentally altering our perception of nature. 
Even a century later, his revolutionary ideas continue to challenge and intrigue scholars worldwide, underscoring his enduring impact. Building upon the foundational works of Bernhard Riemann and William K. Clifford, Einstein's groundbreaking relativity theory captivated the imagination of the world, garnering unprecedented media attention and public interest in science. Despite the media's tendency to exaggerate, Einstein remained humble and approachable, fostering collaboration and encouraging his colleagues in both academic and social endeavors. Although his genius was evident, Einstein's fame often overshadowed his true scientific achievements. While his work on the photoelectric effect earned him a Nobel Prize, his more profound contributions, particularly in the realm of relativity, went unrecognized by the Nobel Committee. Nevertheless, his legacy as a scientific giant who revolutionized physics remains unparalleled, serving as the benchmark against which scientific brilliance is measured. In addition to his groundbreaking work on relativity, Einstein's diverse interests span statistical mechanics, electrodynamics, optics, and the formulation of the einstein podolsky rosen paradox. His prolific output included approximately 300 publications, a testament to his unparalleled intellect and tireless pursuit of knowledge. Although his quest for a unified field theory and his attempts to challenge certain aspects of quantum physics proved unsuccessful, Einstein's unwavering dedication to unraveling the mysteries of the universe continues to inspire generations of scientists. His enduring legacy is honored through various tributes, including an asteroid and a lunar crater dedicated to his memory, serving as enduring reminders of his profound impact on the scientific community. Scientist number 42 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 15th luminary from Germany on our list is Amelie Emmy Noether. Emmy Noether, born into an era when societal barriers impeded women's access to higher education, defied all odds to emerge as a trailblazing mathematician of unparalleled significance. Her extraordinary intellect and groundbreaking contributions propelled mathematics to unprecedented heights, rendering many of her contemporaries seemingly ordinary in comparison. Noether's name has become synonymous with solutions of remarkable ingenuity and unparalleled rigor, establishing her as the greatest female mathematician in history. In the realm of abstract algebra, Noether's prowess remains unrivaled throughout human history. Both her father, Max Noether, and her brother, Fritz Noether, were distinguished mathematics professors, further underscoring the family's remarkable scholarly lineage. Her nephew, Gottfried Noether, continued this legacy as an eminent statistician, leaving behind a significant body of work that included six textbooks. Emmy Noether's contributions to mathematics were nothing short of transformative, with her groundbreaking discoveries reshaping the field in profound ways. Her eponymous theorem proved indispensable to Albert Einstein, aiding him in resolving challenges related to energy conservation in his theory of relativity. Many of her works continue to play a vital role in advancing physics and engineering disciplines. Despite her relatively short life of 53 years, Emmy Noether's intellectual legacy continues to inspire awe among mathematicians. Revered figures such as Paul Gordon, Richard Dedekind, David Hilbert, and Herman Weyl held her in high esteem, recognizing her unparalleled contributions to the field. She is commemorated through numerous concepts and theorems bearing her name, in addition to the honor of having a minor planet, 7001 Noether, and a lunar impact crater, 67 kilometers wide, named in her honor. No honor could be too grand for this supreme genius, whose methodologies have unified various branches of pure and applied mathematics, leaving an indelible mark on the discipline for generations to come. Scientist number 43 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 16th luminary from Germany on our list is Werner von Braun. Werner von Braun stands as the preeminent figure in rocket science, his lifelong fascination with projectiles guiding him toward the realm of aeronautics. Graduating as a mechanical engineer in the 1930s, von Braun's dreams of space travel were temporarily overshadowed by the militaristic priorities of Nazi Germany, which focused on weaponry over exploration. Stationed at the Peenemwende Research Center in northern Germany, von Braun led the development of the V-2 rockets, quickly establishing himself as the world's foremost rocket scientist, surpassing his childhood hero Hermann Oberth. With substantial resources allocated to the Peenemwende projects, Von Braun explored innovative ballistic avenues as Hitler's regime expanded its belligerence. Following World War II, Von Braun was swiftly recruited by the U.S. Army, though his full potential was initially underutilized. However, with the Soviet Union taking the lead in the space race, 
Von Braun's expertise was soon recognized, and his team played a pivotal role in restoring American pride with the development of the rockets that propelled the first man to the moon. From the Juno-1 rocket launching the Explorer 1 satellite in 1958 to the monumental Saturn V that carried the Apollo 11 spacecraft to the moon in 1969, Von Braun's contributions captivated the world, earning him the title of the father of rocket science. His achievements extended beyond space exploration, as he became a multi-award winning director and chief architect at NASA, advocating for human missions to Mars. Among the numerous tributes to his legacy, the 60-kilometer-wide Von Braun Lunar Crater stands as a fitting monument to his enduring impact on the field of rocket science and human exploration of space. Scientist number 44 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Greece, we have selected one exceptional scientist to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The only luminary on our list is Hippocrates of Cuz. Werner von Braun is hailed as one of the most influential rocket scientists in history, with his relentless pursuit of space exploration shaping the trajectory of human endeavors beyond Earth's atmosphere. Despite the societal barriers of his time, von Braun's unwavering fascination with projectiles and aeronautics propelled him to the forefront of rocket science. Graduating as a mechanical engineer in the 1930s, von Braun's aspirations for space travel were initially overshadowed by the militaristic objectives of Nazi Germany, directing his expertise towards the development of V-2 rockets at the Pinamwende Research Center. His ingenuity and visionary leadership quickly elevated him to the pinnacle of rocket science, surpassing even his childhood inspiration, Hermann Oberth. As World War II unfolded and Hitler's ambitions escalated, von Braun's pioneering work at Pinamwende received significant resources, allowing him to explore groundbreaking advancements in ballistic technology. Following the war, Von Braun's talents were recognized by the U.S. Army, eventually leading him to play a crucial role in the American space program. Despite initial underutilization of his capabilities, Von Braun's expertise became instrumental in restoring American dominance in the space race. His visionary leadership and technical prowess propelled the development of iconic rockets such as the Juno-1 and the monumental Saturn V, culminating in the historic Apollo 11 mission that landed the first humans on the moon. Von Braun's contributions extended far beyond space exploration, as he became a leading figure at NASA, advocating for ambitious missions to Mars and shaping the future of human spaceflight. His enduring legacy is commemorated by numerous accolades, including the naming of the 60-kilometer-wide Von Braun Lunar Crater, a testament to his indelible impact on the field of rocket science and humanity's quest for the stars. Scientist number 45 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Hungary, we have selected one exceptional scientist to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The only luminary on our list is John von Neumann. John von Neumann, an iconic genius and consummate mathematician, emerged as the foremost techie of his generation, transitioning from a child prodigy to one of the leading scientists of the 20th century. His unparalleled contributions traversed a multitude of fields, including analysis, geometry, topology, matrix theory, game theory, statistics, and hydrodynamics. Von Neumann's mastery extended across both pure and applied mathematics, pioneering advancements in computer science while making significant strides in quantum physics. Collaborating with luminaries such as Paul Dirac, Von Neumann played a pivotal role in establishing the rigorous mathematical framework for quantum mechanics, generalizing the spectral theorem for use in operator theory and proving the groundbreaking Minimax theorem. His mathematical models were instrumental in the nuclear and thermonuclear research of the Manhattan Project, earning him recognition from both the U.S. Army and the Air Force, who sought his consultancy services. Von Neumann's visionary insights into artificial intelligence led to the development of cellular automata and groundbreaking contributions to linear programming and stochastic computing. Alongside Alan Turing and Claude Shannon, he co-invented the concept of storable computer programs, while also pioneering the application of finite element analysis, pseudo-random number generation, and the merge sort algorithm to computing. His prolific scientific output encompassed over 150 publications, cementing his legacy as one of the most influential figures in modern science and technology. In recognition of his outstanding achievements, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers named its medal for exceptional contributions to computer-related science and technology in his honor. Additionally, 
Von Neumann's impact is commemorated through the eponymous 22,824 von Neumann minor planet and the von Neumann lunar crater, serving as enduring tributes to his unparalleled legacy. Have you heard of the Bad Blood Study on African Americans, the Radium Girl's Tale, or the Superhumans Built by Chinese Scientists in Labs? We've compiled the top 5 mind-blowing scientific blunders for you. Please watch it on our homepage.